Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Saturday, May 15th, 2021. All this week we have been talking about peace. So in the next few moments, I invite you to reflect on the past week. Where did you experience peace? Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 47 from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout joyfully to God with a joyous shout. Because the Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great King of the whole world. He subdues the nations under us subdues all people beneath our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the heights of Jacob, which he loves. God has gone up with a joyous shout, the Lord with the blast of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises because God is King of the whole world. Sing praises with a song of instruction. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The leaders of all people are gathered with the people of Abraham's God because the earth's guardians belong to God. God is exalted beyond all. Let us pray. Dear God, I know you are with me now. I know you are with me anytime I call on you or even think about you. Let me remember every minute of every day that you are with me, watching me, ready to help, protecting my soul, even when the things of this world give me pain. Let my every minute be lived in your presence. Let my every action be an offering of love to you. Let my every word be a prayer. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from Deuteronomy chapter 34, verses 1 through 7 from the New Revised Standard Version. Listen for God's word. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land, Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the Western Sea, the Negeb and the plain, that is the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zoar. The Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Then Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab at the Lord's command. He was buried in a valley in the land of Moab opposite Beth Peor, but no one knows his burial place to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His sight was unimpaired and his vigor had not abated. Even though Moses knew that he would not be entering the promised land, God had already told him, This moment must have stung a little, being so close and having been through so much, but not getting to go the entire way. How do you think Moses felt after God showed him the land?
Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 16, verses 1 through 11 from the Message Bible. Listen again for God's word to us. Jesus said, I told you these things to prepare you for rough times ahead. They are going to throw you out of the meeting places. There will even come a time when anyone who kills you will think he's doing God a favor. They will do these things because they never really understood the Father. I've told you these things so that when the time comes and they start in on you, you'll be well warned and ready for them. I didn't tell you this earlier because I was with you every day, but now I am on my way to the one who sent me. Not one of you has asked, where are you going? Instead, the longer I've talked, the sadder you've become. So let me say it again, this truth, it's better for you that I leave. If I don't leave, the friend won't come. But if I go, I'll send him to you. When he comes, he'll expose the error of the godless world's views of sin, righteousness, and judgment. He'll show them that their refusal to believe in me is their basic sin. That righteousness comes from above, where I am with the Father, out of their sight and control. That judgment takes place as the ruler of the godless world is brought to trial and convicted. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus is attempting here to prepare his disciples for the persecution and hardships to come. Do you think they were ever really prepared? Let us pray. Lord, in utter humility, I thank you and glorify you, that you might hear the prayer of one so small as myself amidst the billions of souls on this planet, among billions of stars and one of billions of galaxies in your universe. Let me go forth in your peace, keeping your spirit always in my mind, and bless me, I pray, that I might always follow your will and live in the radiance of your blessing. Amen. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. I hope you will join us for worship tomorrow. You can find us at 1030 a.m. on Facebook Live or Zoom or in the sanctuary. And the service will be available later in the day here on YouTube. Go in peace and be well. <laughs>